you want to take your print to the next level, you want to have great quality, high, vibrant prints. What you guys need to do is go ahead and check out some of this FOM DTF ink we have. The full CYMK selection along with the ink powder and film. Check out some of this nice FOM DTF ink. Go get y'all some. Support the channel. Channel will support you. And we out with another one. Yeah, so today we had a serious, serious catastrophic problem. Goliath is down. And let me tell you what happened to Goliath. I printed yesterday. Print was perfectly fine. Everything was perfectly fine. Did the maintenance late night. Powered the printer off. That's that. Cut the printer on. Well, I didn't cut the printer on. Shook the inks, then tried to power the printer on. Would not power on. Now, what happened within that process? I don't know. What I assume is that the power supply, for whatever reasons, just stopped working. Still have light from the inside light, but I don't have no power coming in from the actual power supply to the motherboard. So, if I had no power coming from the motherboard to the power supply, then that means that the motherboard is no good. Why does it happen? I do not know. What I'm going to do about it, I'm going to just take parts from one of my printers and put it on my other printer. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I have an Epson 7890 and I have an Epson 7900. 7900 is in good working condition. I haven't converted it over to DTF. But since I have this problem right here, I'm going to convert it right now. So what I did was I upgraded to 7890 a while, like the last month in time. I changed the print head out to a better print head to a TFP print head, which is known to come off the P6000 because it has a deeper color spectrum, density, and all that type of vibrancy. And the print head is made, the head is made out of a different type of a metal or type of a, you know, material so it won't clog in the ink, won't stick to the actual print head. So, and doing this research, I already had two P6000, so I said I might as well just take one P6000, take the print head off, and use that and get a better print quality. And why did I do that? Because a lot of these P6000s is having problems with the motherboards. And when I convert mines over, I wanna make sure I have the right motherboard. So I'm gonna let everybody go through their trial and error first. And then I'm gonna get my research and I'm gonna figure out what motherboard is good for me. Because I could have been bought a motherboard numerous of times from different companies, but I'm reading the reviews and seeing what goes on. I'm not just taking nobody's word for it. I'm gonna wait until the trial and error come out. It's like, you know, person supposed to do so what happened with this printer is since I can't power the printer on I can't remove the print here so what I done was is this I took the whole right side off of the actual ink cab and all this ink assembly stuff that you see right here so now they have this piece that's in here as you can see that's right here and what happens is it locks the print head in place. So what you need to do, giving by a little FYI, if you ever have this problem, just go ahead and push this piece down. And you'll see that slowly but surely it will move this out the way so you can free up your print head, you know. So now the print head is freed up. I can actually go in the front and remove the print head from the ink selector assembly. So now, yeah, guys, this is what happens. So Goliath is down right now. And, um, hey, it is what it is. So, the thing about it is we got Mammoth right here in the background. I'm about to get Mammoth up and make it Mammoth online. So, you guys, are, uh, you know, see what's going on. I got my little space kind of shackled up. Everything's just a lot of different things going on. But this is that you guys see. I'm about to put this put Goliath inside the mix and you can see the capping station everything is like super clean up inside there you know got a little spill right here there's a little not nothing but you see how clean that is so we're gonna get this one up and running like I said guys there's nothing wrong with this print head and this printer but I'm just going with an upgrade so I'm gonna take this print head out 
set it to the side. I'm going to clean it out, flush it out, and set it to the side in case I need it. I have another print head right here that I need to send back because this one is no good. So, hey, it's a lot of trial and error, but that's, a fact. that's what's up. So let me go ahead and get this printer, this print head off this printer real fast. And then uh, we'll go ahead and swap it out. And uh, hopefully it works. Hopefully we can get this printer up and going and convert it and get back to this printing. So y'all stay tuned because, you know, it's not over. But you guys, like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you have, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys share the videos and uh, comment on the videos and uh yeah we're trying to get more awareness and get everybody up to par and you know get your knowledge and get your thinking different so y'all stay tuned and i'm gonna keep this going so what's going on now we have goliath sorry to see goliath down like this but we have goliath fully bust down taken apart it looked like the day i built goliath you know so let you guys check out this is how Everything look now. We have it fully taken apart. We got the ink selector off, print head off. Well, print head is off, and uh, yeah. So this is what's going on now. This print head right here is a it's a P6000 print head, a TFP. It has better resolution, print capability than the actual print head, which is the DX6 that comes on the 7890. A lot of people don't know this is a very good good upgrade to have if you know about printers once you get into the printer. So, like I said, Goliath is down. Sorry about my Goliath, but I'm going to get Goliath back up and running. It's not no time soon. What we're doing is uh, we come and we move it over here. <clears throat> As you can see, this is Mammoth right here. Mammoth has the motherboard taken out. I'm about to put the motherboard back in Mammoth because I was going to use the Mammoth. I mean, Goliath motherboard and put it inside. Let me rephrase this. Use the motherboard from Mammoth and put it inside Goliath and just use it because it's already DTF converted. But I'm thinking like it just burnt out for no reason at all. And the printer was working perfectly fine. So at this point in time, I have no time to speculate and try to pinpoint what's going on because I have orders to get out the way and I have one good motherboard. I don't want to that's a chance of blowing it up. So we have the motherboard sitting right here. I'm going to take it. We're going to put it back in, install everything, hook it up, and we're going to go ahead and start the conversion. So you guys stay tuned. Like I was telling you guys, like, comment, subscribe to the channel for the ones that's watching this first time or people just viewing the channel. Comment, you know, share the information. Go to the website, purchase the FOM DTF products. We have ink, powder, film, ICC profiles. We also have editing software on there. So... If you guys are interested in entering a giveaway that I'm having for 1,000 kg of ink supply, the full C wine case with the four white ink powder and film, go to the website, purchase the FOM DTF shirt, show me that you're rocking with us, and the second prize is going to be a 500 set, same thing, ink powder and film. The third prize is going to be a 250 ink powder and film. So 500 is going to be second, third is going to be a 250, so make sure y'all support the channel. Link is going to be in the description for you guys. If you guys are interested in having channel support, want to donate to the channel, it's going to be at the bottom as well. And you guys rock with me, rocking with y'all. So we're going to get this going. And y'all stay tuned because it's not over. We have the main board installed. Some people call it the motherboard, but main board, whatever name you want to pick. So we got to hook up the actual ink channels, the 101, 102, 104s, and all this different stuff here. And the rest of these little connectors. And we're going to power it on and hope we get some actual result. If not, then hey, back to the drawing board. But you guys see what's going on. Let me get this done and we're going to see what happens. So now we got the motherboard fully installed. And now we're going to the front of the printer. Got the ink selector assembly taken apart. About to pull the print head off. And put the new upgraded print head on. Charge the system. Well, power power the printer on. Try to see if we can get some traction. If we do, then we'll do initial ink fill and do the DTF conversion. As you guys can see, I still have the original cartridges inside the printer. So we're gonna see what happens. We already know it's gonna happen. It's gonna work. So if you guys are interested 
and you want to say if you bought your own printer 7890 or 7900 or 9890 or 9700 or whatever and you want to convert it over and you need my assistance we can do a live video and um I'll tell you what I charge for the walk through the conversion and you can be able to convert other printers so that's why it's important if you want to convert so it's not like oh you charge too much the price is too high you can be able to convert DTF printers and do it for somebody else and do it for somebody else and whatever your price is gonna be your price so you're gonna be having basically a business that I'll be able to give you converting printers over and then we can be able to talk and have you know a conversation I'll tell you certain things that will help you and benefit you and it's not it's pertaining to the printers but it's going to be oh wow I'm very appreciated that you taught me how to convert it now you have some information to go along with that to be able to turn yourself into a business and help other people with problems and things and whatnot so we're going to get this print head off get it changed over for the new upgrade the TFP print head and y'all stay tuned now I just got the old print head pulled off like I said, nothing wrong with this print head. It's an actual working print head. This is the TFP print head. They look exactly the same. You cannot tell the difference, but there's something inside here that makes it print on a better spectrum. You know, that's, that's what you call technology. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're going to get this on. Everything's going to be put together and we're going to see what happens. So. Like I tell you guys, this right here is trial and error. All this stuff that I show you guys, it's not going to be on the internet for you guys. Like, this video, to be honest with you, I didn't want to make this video. It's competitor reasons. And not only that, who knows who watches this video. So I don't get that many views for me making videos like this to help you with your printer or your printer problems. I just, just keep it on the baseline, on the border, like all the other channels that you guys support do. So, but I'm just giving you guys a little extra insight of what goes on behind the scenes. You can ask me questions and I ask will help you fix your problem. That's the cool thing about it. You support me and I'm going to support you. You don't support me, I'm not going to support you. Hey, I'm just going to leave everybody unread like everybody else do. So, other than that, there's no hate. It's all love, but just give love when love is needed or, you know, support the real and the phonies too. Cause y'all been supporting people that's real phony and still do and know they phony and still support them. Cause you like what they got going on. So you support them, support me too. So let's keep this video going. We'll be back with some more. So y'all stay tuned.